you know, the, the core idea is that it's a, uh, an open standards protocol. It runs in between an Ethernet switch uh, and an element called the OpenFlow controller, which is usually just software running on an x86 server. The protocol itself is incredibly minimalistic. It's very simple. Uh, we think of it almost like, a, it's like an x86 instruction set for networking. If you compare that, you know, that's the OpenFlow protocol, but if you look at what people are doing with it, we usually call that OpenFlow architectures. And if you look at an OpenFlow architecture, well, that's all of the layers and layers of software that would go on top of this thing. So that would be, you know, that would be the Linux, that would be all of the applications sitting on top. Um, it would also include all of the programming environment for you to build your own applications. So we really kind of think about it in two ways of both this x86 instruction set underneath as the protocol and then the open flow architecture of all these layers of software on top. It started as a way for researchers to tinker with production hardware to run research experiments. And was extraordinary. If you measure by SIGCOM papers, it was an extraordinarily successful uh, at providing a research platform. That was like four years ago now. Uh, it, garnered a lot of interest by the hyperscale data center folks who wanted to run you know, a million MAC address Hadoop job. Uh, the full cross-section bandwidth requirements that are introduced by these big, big data applications don't fit well with traditional tree structures for networking. So there was a lot of research going on around you know, using OpenFlow, uh, but to build layers of software in order to do a million MAC address Hadoop job. Um, the third spot where they started getting used was for these infrastructure as a service public cloud crew. Now that's where they had the full cross-section bandwidth problem, same as large-scale Hadoop, but they also had a network virtualization problem. They needed multi-tenancy. If you look at where OpenFlow stands today, if you look at the problems that it's trying to solve, in my mind it's that, it's that multi-tenancy, it's that network virtualization piece that's really taking off. You know, there are three layers of this thing. There's on the one side, there, there are Ethernet switches. So to succeed, OpenFlow needs the OpenFlow. It's usually viewed as just a feature um, from switch vendors. You know, basically, we need that feature to be implemented. And if you look at you know both public announcements and a lot of the you know, demos that have been going on at trade shows, it's clear that there is a large ecosystem at this point of vendors who are very, very active in their uh, switch vendors who are active in their OpenFlow. Uh, implementations. So we need that part to be successful. Uh, we need a layer of controllers and they're you know both a couple of big both a couple of startups and big companies here in the controller layer that are very very active and increasingly public about what they're doing. Uh, the last is there's the third layer of OpenFlow applications. This is software that you would build on top of a controller and pretty much every one of the controller vendors give or take are, are, are building this sort of controller layer application layer. And that we expect to come from a whole range of different companies, some from the controller vendors themselves, but some from the switch vendors themselves, some from third parties, some even from customers. So that's going to be a really interesting and very active area of the ecosystem. It's my personal take that most of the products across the ecosystem at this point in time are in you know, somewhere in early beta to late beta. I think over the next three quarters, you're going to see a whole series of announcements as these products hit 1.0, which should accompany a series of customer announcements as well. And this isn't, you know, this isn't us specifically. This is the OpenFlow ecosystem as a whole. So I think the next three quarters are going to be a pretty exciting time. Mm -hmm.